Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings. Today, we're so excited to have you again. Still talking about Peter Obi, who is currently the most mentioned name on and off social media. He is considered to be the newest political face in Nigeria. And um, so many things are still happening around him currently. The Northerners are eager to see him come on board as the president of Nigeria. Someone said that he had a conversation with a police officer and the police officer was begging him to please vote for Peter Obi that right now they are frustrated on their job. It seems as if they are not performing as expected. And Peter Obi is not also um, just relaxing, you know. He is going to and fro, especially in... Uh, uh, meeting key stakeholders in the southern part and also the northern part to let them understand what his manifesto is and the need for them to give him the required support so that he can take Nigeria from where we are to where we should be. But right now, there are a lot of fears about his life. And one of Nigeria's foremost uh, political leader in the South East have spoken about what may likely happen in event of anything happening to Peter, Peter Obi, which Nigerians are not praying to see such, you know, happen. But before we give you full details of what he had to say, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that uh, you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, Elder Stedman and First Republic Aviation Minister Chief Mbazulike Amechi has sounded a note of warning that nothing untoward should happen to the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Mr. Peter Obi ahead of the 2023 general elections. Chief Amechi, who has thrown his weight behind Obi's candidacy, and his running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed, said Nigeria's current situation would worsen. If anything happens to be saying that opening of OB should text their acceptance and popularity at the elections. Chief Amechi, who was reacting to apparent wave, the former Anambra state governor is making soon after he dumped the People Democratic Party PDP for Labour Party LP, and subsequently clinched the party's ticket to contest the presidential elections, the move, he said, has sent jitters to the camps of his rivals, warning that Nigeria will not be worse than it is now if anything happens to Peter Obi. I'll read that again. He said that the move, he said, has sent jitters to the camp of his rivals, one that Nigeria will not be worse than it is now if anything happens to him. According to the elder statement, he said, I don't think it was just an accident that Peter will be image. I think it was God's way. If anything happens to him, it would worsen the situation in Nigeria and the situation may degenerate to something non-describable. If they are afraid of Obi, who is just a beginner, why should they not be eternally afraid? Peter Obi is the only governor who left office and nobody asked him any question. EFCC, ICPC has not invited him for any wrongdoing. Such is the kind of leader that can save Nigeria. A governor handed over and wanted to leave the country that day before he was stopped by EFCC. But Peter Obi, since after leaving office, has been in Nigeria. He didn't know the office of EFCC, ICPC, or DSS since because of his clean record. The man who succeeded him wanted to leave the country two hours he handed over, meaning he wanted to sneak away. Many other governors who left office have been arrested and charged to court, but they ran into Senate or APC as party, and today their cases are closed. That is the kind of rotten country we have, yet people are suffering and may continue to suffer. I don't think God created us to continue to suffer. The 2023 election is an opportunity he has provided for us to right the wrongs. You will see how the whole world will embrace Nigeria if Peter Obi and Senator Dati Baba Ahmed wins the election and all the criminals and looters will melt away to Dubai. Quite interesting, I'm telling you. And I, I feel that what um, Mbazulike 
uh, is saying right now is uh, exactly the heartbeat of virtually all Nigerians because uh, right now um, Peter Obi may not be the best politician in the whole of Nigeria, but for now he is the best option. Whether we like it or yes, Peter Obi is the person that Nigerians are looking forward to. I mean, it's, for example, if you watch one of our videos, I was shocked to see a young man who is uh, in his, call it early 30s, in the process of trying to pray for Peter Obi to be successful in the forthcoming election, ended up crying and weeping. Why? Because Nigerians have, Nigeria have been in a situation where everyone had written us off and said there is no hope for this country because day after day, it's as if the um, politicians have put their grip on our neck and there is no way we can get out of their grip because there is no savior food coming. But with the advent of Peter Obi, it seems that all of that will end. I mean, and it won't end immediately, it will end speedily. Some people believe that it's just online supporters that he has. Some people say that he should just go and that he should enjoy his online, you know, uh, fame, that there is nothing he will do afterwards and all of that. But shockingly, we are seeing a lot of things happening in different parts of the country. For example, in Lagos State, people are now meeting in cells. I'm telling you, people are meeting in cells, different cells, you know, to talk about how they can successfully um, win the hearts of Nigerians to Peter Obi. And also in today, in, in Taraba State precisely, Peter Obi, a coalition of supporters and labor parties, they met today. They met today, I'm telling you. And it, it's really interesting because he has, the whole thing has gone beyond the show. And I'm, the amazing part of it is that he's not funding any of these things. I mean, he's not funding, which means that Nigerians are tired and Nigerians want to quit. Nigerians want to see a situation whereby we wake up tomorrow and we are sure of a future that is protected, a future for our children, a future for our grandchildren. We can once again walk down the street without any fear of being kidnapped. We can, you know, have that enjoy. We can feel the love of traveling interstates, leaving our states to other states without being, you know, targeted for kidnap and all of that. The situation in our country is becoming very, very troubling. And it's high time Nigerians meet together to correct this ill once and for all. I, I know there are a lot of distractions that are currently on board, which, um, you know, one person had said that uh, one of the major distractions is the case of, uh, you know, BB Niger, which is about to happen, that most Nigerians will lose their grip of, you know, following up on the issue of Peter Obi. But come to think of it, how long would this BB Niger last? Max is 70-something days, you know. And I don't think that anyone who is looking up to having a great future uh, for himself who allowed frivolities or anything entertainment to take away the earnest love he has for his country. So uh, it, it's a case of time management, you understand? It, it, there's nothing that will stop Nigerians. It's a case of time management. You have time for this one, you have time for this one, you have time, for, and that's just it. But however, based on what Amechi has said, Nigerians must do all within their power, number one, to protect their future. And guess what? Our future uh, lies in the hands of a competent leader, which we have already seen in Peter Obi. And we must see how we can also protect him and ensure that at the end of uh, the day, precisely on in February 2023, Peter Obi come out successful. That's where we would like to leave it.